This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create a normal map for a model inside of ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about creating a normal map inside of ZBrush. So to start off, before we create these normal maps, there's one thing to take note of. And this is that the normal map process inside of ZBrush is only going to work on an individual subtool basis. So what this means is that if I want to create normal maps for all of Earthquake here, I'll have to process each of these subtools individually to generate a normal map. So just one thing to take note of when you start generating normal maps inside of ZBrush is that the normal map creation is only going to work on a single subtool. So I'm just going to come over to the subtool palette over here and just isolate Earthquake's body here. Now after you have your subtool selected, we need to have a few other things set up on the model here in order to process this normal map. The first thing is that your model has to have subdivisions. So if I scroll down here to the Geometry tab and open this up, you can see that Earthquake has six subdivisions. Now these subdivisions are going to be used to create your high resolution version of your model and your low resolution version of your model. So as mentioned before, ZBrush is only going to use a single subtool to process the normal map. So you can't have a subtool that is your low resolution version and then a subtool that is your high resolution version. You need to make sure that both versions of your model exist in the same subtool. So Earthquake here has six subdivision levels. So the highest one here, or subdivision six, is going to represent the high resolution version of him. And then if I scroll down whatever subdivision level I select, is going to represent the low resolution version. So whatever you have this set to is going to be looked at by ZBrush as the low resolution version of the model. So if I set this to one, it's going to use this as the low resolution version. If I have this set to two, it's going to use this as the low resolution version. Now, the other thing you need on your model inside of ZBrush is a set of UV coordinates. If you scroll down to the texture map tab here and open this up, and then I go to create, and now do new from UV check, you can see that the Earthquake model here has a set of UVs. So your model needs to have UVs and then also subdivisions in order to create a normal map. So after we have both of these on our mesh, we now just need to set the resolution that we want to generate the normal map at. So if we open up this UV map tab here, down here we have a UV map size. So right now, Earthquake is set to generate a UV map at 4K, so 4096 by 4096. If you want to increase or decrease the resolution of the map that will be generated, you can just change the slider here, or correspondingly, you can click these preset buttons. And then ZBrush will use this size when creating the normal map. So after you have your UV map size set, we can now just set our subdivision level. So I'm gonna go back up here, and I'm just gonna keep this at two. And whatever you have this set to is going to determine the low resolution version of this mesh, and then it's gonna take the highest subdivision level as the high resolution. So I'm just gonna leave this at subdivision two. Then I'm gonna scroll down here to the bottom to the normal map area and open this up. And now I just simply need to click create normal map. So it's gonna look at the subdivision I have selected and then it's going to take the highest subdivision level and then create a normal map between those two subdivisions. And you can see here is the normal map. You also notice that the map size is a 4K map. So it has created a normal map from that subdivision I had selected to the highest subdivision. So let's say that I wanted to use subdivision one instead of subdivision two to generate my normal map. So I'm gonna go back up to the top here and change my subdivision level to one, go back down to the normal map panel here and click create normal map. And this is going to reprocess this. And now I'm gonna get a normal map that was generated from subdivision one to the highest subdivision level. So the normal map generation will be dependent on what subdivision level you have selected before you click create normal map. Now, in addition to just clicking this Create Normal Map, you have a few options here. So you can switch the red and green channels. You can flip the red channel, flip the green channel, and also flip the blue channel. Now, after you have your normal map created, if you want to export this out, you can just simply come over here and click Clone Normal Map. When you click this button, it's going to clone the normal map here to the texture palette. And then from here, you can just select it and now go to Export, and you can now export that normal map out. So once again, just to create a normal map inside of ZBrush, the first thing to take note of is that the normal map process only works on a single subtool. So it will not work on multiple subtools through here. So if you have a model that has multiple parts, you will have to first merge those together into one subtool and then generate the normal map that way. 
or you'll have to generate individual normal maps for each subtool and then compile them later. And also you want to make sure that your subtool has UV coordinates and also multiple subdivisions because the subdivision levels will determine what the high resolution version and the low resolution version will be when generating those normal maps. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.